What's up taters? This is Tree from TreeUpLogic.com. So I wanted to share um, actually a very interesting article I saw today. And uh, kudos to this woman here in New York. She is not going to cater to the de Blasio discrimination. It's mainly against blacks because we understand that blacks disproportionately are unvaccinated than any other race. And uh, yeah, I mean, she she's actually saying I'm not discriminating against anyone. And so kudos to, to her. By the way, if you don't know, that has already been implemented in New York City. So now they have started with discriminating against those who have been unvaccinated and separating those from vaccinated. Those who are vaccinated are allowed to partake in the various uh, restaurants and concerts, movie theaters and gyms, etc. And unvaccinated, which has been overwhelmingly disproportionately at targeting black people. Well, they are not they are not allowed to participate in these things. So therefore, we have uh, nice owners, business owners like this young lady who said, look, you, I don't care, vaccinated or unvaccinated. I don't care about your gender, your race. I don't care about your age. I'm not going to discriminate against you. So I'm going to read this because it's really a good story. And uh, if you live in New York City, I don't know if you're anywhere near this young lady's business, but be sure to give her uh, some of your money and in exchange for some delicious meals. I think she sells as pastries. And because I think I looked at her, she has a YouTube page and her YouTube deals with a lot of, uh, I thought I saw some sweets. Now it could be some other food there, but that's all I saw. Anyway, let me go ahead and read the article. And if I have some time, I'll probably show a little glimpse of her restaurant from her own YouTube page. Okay. A New York city restaurant manager goes renegade in the face of new vaccination proof rules. And this is the young lady right here. Um, her name is Mary Josephine Gani Rosso. I, I'm sure I am messing up that <laughs> last name. Says she doesn't want to conflict with hungry New Yorkers' right to uh, roam freely. Yeah, I'm not. I, I hear you on this one, girl. Don't go, Mary. And she's standing in front of her business, which has this sign right here. And the sign says, "We do not discriminate against." any any is capitalized in all letters against any customer based on sex gender race creed age vaccinated or unvaccinated all customers who wish to patronize are welcome in our establishment and so and I, here's the actual um restaurant right here and the sign uh it's called rocco's so it looks like a rest it looks like a uh a um an Italian restaurant actually so maybe I was looking at the the dessert section of her YouTube page anyway let's read this article not all big Apple restaurants were happy as a citywide vaccine mandate took effect on Monday so that happened today and some are all but thumbing their noses at the controversial clapdown. The so-called key to New York City's program, which requires diners to show proof they've been vaccinated from COVID, has gotten support from high-profile restaurants like Danny Meyer of the Gramercy Tarvin and Eric Rip. I don't know. I, I, I can't even pronounce any of this stuff. Okay, this sounds like food that's going to be nasty anyway, so who cares? As well as owners of Sylvia's in Harlem. Well, this sounds like a whole bunch of food that's going to give you uh, high blood pressure. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure that food sounds like it's high in sodium and fat. <laughs> I think they're doing black people a favor <laughs> by, by accepting only vaccinated people in there. Oh, goodness. Whew. Okay. Um, but some fret that the new rules won't be enforceable and that they will turn off tourists as local eateries scramble to recover from a year and a half of lockdowns. 
Others say they won't even try to enforce the new rule beginning September the 13th when city inspectors at restaurants, indoor entertainment venues, and gyms are slated to begin. Shortly after Mayor Bill de Blasio announced the new rules on August the 3rd, a sign appeared in the front window of, okay, I'm going to, here we go with the, I think the Italian name, so I may be messing this up, Pustix, Pusticeraria, okay, <laughs> holy, how do you pronounce this, Pastis, why do people do this to, no, that's why she got Rocco's on the front, it, see what I'm saying, Rocco's, people can pronounce that, but why, this was a dumb move, this was so silly, like, I'm sure no one can pronounce, well, I'm sure some people can pronounce it, especially if you're from Italy, but Pastisserio, Seria, anyway, I'm just going to call it Rocco's, okay, uh, Window of Rocco's, a pastry shop and diner, oh, so I was right, okay, so I did see a whole bunch of, um, sweets and stuff in her uh in her video so a pastry shop and diner in bay ridge brooklyn quote we do not discriminate against any customers based on sex gender race creed age vaccinated or unvaccinated all customers who wish to patronize are welcome so that's the sign right here that i just read right here okay um and this is what she says for me it's not political most of my customers are vaccinated said mary josephine uh Italian last name, who manages the eatery. It's about civil liberties and freedoms. Now we have to be in a society where people can't roam freely and enter my place of business if they want to. How is that okay in the United States of America? Hello, girl. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say her last name because I cannot pronounce it. Mary says she hasn't spoken with the city officials about the new rules and admitted she isn't exactly sure what she'll do if they show up at her door. It's scary. I feel like we will be made an example of, she said. It is really hard to go up against a machine, and that's what we are up against, honestly. I put the sign up because I was hoping that other business owners would also have the courage to speak out. No, honey, it's a, for every brave woman like this or every brave person, whether it's a man or woman, there are 25 cowards, okay? I mean, the cowards are, uh, they outweigh the brave people. Trust me, I know. Honestly, I put this sign up because I was, oh, I, I read that part already. But it is mainly our customers who have reached out in support. Andrew Rigi, executive director of the NYC Hospitality Alliance, a key trade group of Big Apple restaurants, says he understands the complexity and controversies of the VAX order, but says it is nevertheless necessary. There are restaurants who support it and restaurants who oppose it, he says. No doubt. The vaccine requirements will pose challenges to restaurants, but all seem to agree we cannot go back to harsher restrictions and shutdowns. Oh my God, dude. You look like a papers, please. But it's your papers. We have ways of making you talk. Okay. Anyway, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. There we go. So I don't even have to go to her YouTube page. This is all hers. I don't know what these desserts are, but they look like it's sugary sweets. So that's her uh, stuff in the background. And she ain't trying to lose no money. So... I'm I'm not going to read the rest of this article. I just wanted to show you some good news of some actual business owners in New York who are taking a stand and they're like, "Look, I'm not I'm not losing money because the Blasio want to act like a dictator, okay? I'm not doing it." And this is it takes somebody like this to finally take a stand and say, "I'm not going to do it." So, she's not trying to lose any money. It's bad enough they're trying to regulate. This is communism, actually. I mean, this is communism. This is this is the government telling businesses, hey, you can only accept these type of customers, but not these type of customers. And so you have 
women like her and i'm sure you have other men who are just saying listen money is green baby money doesn't know where it comes from anybody anybody know what movie reference that is <laughs> money doesn't know where it comes from and i totally agree but anyway what do you think about this brave woman if you live near this uh restaurant in uh bay ridge brooklyn i have no idea where that is go over there and uh buy some of these delicious sweets from her it looks absolutely delicioso you know and uh yeah uh, you know patronize her business she's definitely going to need your help and give her your support okay let me know what you think about this in the comments below love to hear from you also be sure to give this video a like don't forget to subscribe and join my tater family and i will see you on the next video later taters